a triangle ABC in which AB equal to AC equal to 4 centimeters, angle A is 90, has area. So this is a triangle and angle A is 90, so angle A is 90. Then AB equal to AC, so we have AB and AC, AB equal to AC equal to 4, so this is 4 and this is 4. So in this triangle, if angle A is 90, the base will be AC, which is equal to 4, and the height or the altitude will be AB, which is also equal to 4. So here is your height and this is your base and we know area of triangle equal to half base into height which means equal to half 4 into 4 answer 8 centimeter square. Remember between the height and the base, if this is height and this is base, there is always a 90 degrees. If the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 24, perimeter means all three sides. In an equilateral triangle, all the th three sides are equal. So you have x, x and x, which means x plus x plus x is perimeter, which is equal to 24. So 3x equal to 24 your x will be 24 over 3 so your x will be 8 we have to find its area area of equilateral triangle formula root 3 by 4 side square which means a root 3 by 4 side 8 into 8 because the side is 8 your x is a side which is 8 so you cancel this this becomes 2 answer 16 root 3 meter square if each side of an equilateral tri triangle having area 24 root 3 so again here we are dealing with an equilateral triangle and in equilateral triangle, we know the area is given as root 3 by 4 side square. The area here is given as 24, 25 root 3. So 25 root 3 equal to root 3 by 4 side square. Here we cancel root 3 on either sides. So now we are dealt with 25 equal to side square over 4 cross multiply 25 into 4 equal to side square under root of 25 into 4 equal to s so 5 into 2 equal to the side 10 is the side of this equilateral triangle the area of the equilateral triangle is 81 root 3 find its height so here we have area of equilateral triangle is 81 root 3 that is given to us but we know the formula for area of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 side square is 81 root 3 so here we cancel root 3 root 3 on either sides and then we get s square equal to 81 into 4 so s is under root of 81 into 4 so s equal to 9 into 2 the side s equal to 18 now we need to find the height of this triangle so let's draw this triangle so here is the equilateral triangle with all sides equal and we know the side is 18 so this one side is 18 this side is 18 and this side is also 18 all the sides are equal and we need to find its height say so this is the height we call this height as h we know area another formula of area half base into height the area is given as 81 root 3 it is given to us half the base we know is 18 the side base and the height we need to find 
so then we cancel this out this becomes 9 so your height becomes 81 root 3 over 9 so the height is 9 under root 3 so first we found the side and the side was now the base here this was the base and this was the height so half base into height was area and area was 81 root 3 the perimeter of a rhombus is 20 centimeters now rhombus all the four sides are equal so I'll put x x x and x so perimeter means all the add up all the four sides equal to 20 4x equal to 20 x equal to 20 by 4 x equal to 5 so the sides are now 5 so I'll just erase this up and I know the sides are 5 this is 5 5 5 and 5 one of its diagonal is 6 so let me draw the diagonal this diagonal is 6 one diagonal okay so write like a b c d 6 and I'll draw the other diagonal this is the other diagonal which I don't know now your AC is 6, AC is 6 and I'll put O, that therefore AO equal to OC equal to 3. So this becomes 3 and this becomes 3, half, half. Now here is a right angle triangle always. So we need to find out DO. So we will use Pythagoras theorem in this triangle. In the triangle DOC we will use Pythagoras the uh, theorem. We know this angle is 90. If this angle is 90, that means our DC becomes our hypotenuse. So DC square equal to DO square plus CO square. That is 5 square equal to DO square. CO is 3 square. So 25 equal to DO square plus 9. 25 minus 9 equal to d o square so we have d o equal to 16 d o square d o equal to 4 i'll draw the diagram of the rhombus again so i have my rhombus here and i have found one diagonal i know was already given to me as 6 this diagonal was given as 6 and now i found the other diagonal i found d o as 4 so the whole diagonal will be 8 so I have D1, one diagonal equal to 6, the other diagonal equal to 8. And area of rhombus is half D1 into D2. That is half 6 into 8. And the answer here comes 24. To go over this again, we had DO as 4. And DB, the whole diagonal, will be 2 into 4, which will be Eight. So two things we have learned here in a rhombus we have a rhombus we have the two diagonals which cut at exactly at the center this is equal to this this is equal to this and here we can always use in this we can use Pythagoras theorem we'll have this square we have 90 degrees and we can use Pythagoras theorem Find the area of an isosceles triangle having base 24. So this is the base 24 and one of its equal side 20. If one side is 20 equal side, other side also will be 20. Now this we do like a normal sum. So we have A is 20, B is 20 and C is 24. And if I semi-perimeter, A plus B plus C divide by 2. And the semi perimeter here S comes as 32. In the next step, we do area equal to S, S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. And you put your values here, you get 32, then 32 minus 20, 32 minus 20, and you will have. 32 minus 24 
so your area equal to 32 into this is what you will get and in the end when you work this out you'll get area is 192 the perimeter and the base of an isosceles triangle are 11 and 5 centimeters perimeter is 11 and uh, they said base 5 centimeter find its area so if I were to draw this triangle the base is 5 and these two are equal I'll put them as x and x because it is an isosceles triangle they have said so I have x plus x plus 5 is a perimeter which is equal to 11 and on solving this we get 2x plus 5 equal to 11 so we have 2x equal to 6 so x equal to 3 so remember this was a perimeter sum of all the sides equal to 11 so now I got draw the triangle again so I have 3 3 and 5 and now I do my a equal to 3 B equal to 3 C equal to 5 I find the semi perimeter a plus B plus C over 2 which here will work out uh, to be 11 by 2 and in the next step I find my area s s minus a s minus b s minus c which is 11 by 2 11 by 2 minus 3 11 by 2 minus 3 and 11 by 2 minus 5 you need to work this out so you go ahead and do the calculations this is the normal calculations but you have to do it carefully so I have 11 into 5 into 5 over 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and this is under root I've got to make groups of 2 so here are groups of 2 so 1 5 will come out here down I have one group and another group so what will come down is 2 and 2 what remains inside is under root 11 so my answer will be 5 by 4 under root 11. The sides of a triangle are 4, 8 and 6. So let me mark here 4, 8 and 6. Find the length of a perpendicular opposite vertex to the longest side. So first we have to find the area. To find the area we know s equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 so s equal to 4 plus 6 plus 8 divided by 2 and my s will work out here 9 centimeter in my second step I need to find area and that will be s s minus a s minus b s minus c under root and when you put your values it will be 9, 9 minus 4, 9 minus 6 and 9 minus 8 under root. On working this area up you get 9 into 5 into 3 into 1. So area equal to 9 is 3 into 3 and this is 5 into 3. So I get this two threes will come out here what will remain inside is 15 so this will be my area now the next part of the sum says find the perpendicular from the opposite vertex to the longest side now which is the longest side 8 is the longest side and we need to find this perpendicular this H so we will do here area is half base into height the area we found was 2 under root of 15 we found the area by Heron's formula half now the base we have to take 8 because we have to find the perpendicular on the longest side and the longest side is 8 so h right so you have now this will cancel so you have 3 over 4 under root 15 is the perpendicular or the height on the longest side 
Find the perimeter and area of a triangle whose sides are 3, 4 and 5. So perimeter is if you add up the sides, 3 plus 4 plus 5. So the perimeter now works out to be 12 centimeter. Now to find area, we use Huron's formula. So here A is 3, B is 4 and C is 5. So you do semi perimeter which is A plus B plus C divided by 2. So that is 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 2 and this will come as 6. Then the next step to find area S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C and that is 6. 6 minus 3, 6 minus 4, 6 minus 5. So you have 6 into 3 into 2 into 1. We break up the 6, 6 we make 2 into 3, and 3 into 2. Then we make groups, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, this 2 and this 2 become another 2. So that is 6. The area is 6. A isosceles right triangle. So isosceles means two sides are equal. Right means this is 90. So this is a right isosceles triangle. Has area 8 centimeters square. So the area is 8 centimeters square. Now remember this isosceles, this will be x and this also will be x. So the base, this is the base and this is the height of an isos of a right triangle. So area we know of this triangle is half base into height. The area is given as 8, so we will write 8, half. We have taken the base and height both as xx, fine, because it is isosceles. So we take the 2 on the other side, so 8 into 2 equal to x into x is x square, 16 equal to x square, under root 16 equal to x, so x equal to 4. Now we got to write the uh, length of its hypotenuse, so we draw it again. So we know this is 4 and this is 4, we found that was x and x, x equal to 4. Now we need to find the hypotenuse. So I'll just mark it as A, B and C. And this is our hypotenuse. This is 90 degrees. So for my Pythagoras theorem, I can say AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Now AC, AC square, AB is 4 square plus square. So AC square is 16 plus 16 and AC square is 32. I'll do it here. So AC is under root of 32 and 32 will be, if you break up 32, it is 2, 2, 2, 5 times. So AC equal to this 2 will come out as 1, this 2 is another 2 pair this one remains alone inside so it is 2. So the answer is 4 under root 2. So our AC square is 4 under root 2. The area of an ABCD whose diagonals are perpendicular and of length 12 and 8. If diagonals are perpendicular it must be a rhombus. So here is my rhombus, A, B, C, D, it has got two unequal diagonals, this is one diagonal and here is the other diagonal. In this case they have said one diagonal, the diagonals are one diagonal AC equal to 12 centimeter, another diagonal BD equal to 8 centimeter. And the area of rhombus formula we know is half product of diagonals D1 into 
d2 that is half your d1 is 12 your d2 is 8 so 12 half into 12 into 8 will be 48 so answer is 48 centimeter square this is a repeat question. The isosceles right triangle has area 8. Find its uh, hypotenuse. This is what we did earlier. And just even then, just repeat it again. So it's a right isosceles. That means both the sides are equal. X and X. This is 90 degrees. Area is given as 8. So half base into height equal to area. And in this case, half X into X equal to to area area is given as 8 so I will put here 8 and if you work it out your X becomes 4 and the next step this is 4 and this is 4 and we need to find the hypotenuse so for that we use Pythagoras theorem 4 square plus 4 square because this is 90 equal to hypotenuse. I'll put this hypotenuse as y, y square. When you work out, you get 32 equal to y square under root 32 equal to y. So this is under root 32. The sides of a triangle are 35, 54 and 51, 61 and its area is 420 under root 5 centimeter square find the longest altitude so we start with area equal to half base into height now the area is given as 420 under root 5 half now which base are we going to take this triangle has got three sides one is 35 54 and 61 now we need to find the longest altitude now, if we want to find the all longest altitude, we are going to take the shortest side, that is 35. So, remember this, longest altitude. If you want to find the longest altitude, you need to take the shortest side. 35 is the shortest side. So, we have 35 into H. And when you solve this, You'll get 420 root 5 into 2 over 35 and the answer for the H will work out as 24 under root 5. The difference of the perimeter and the sides are 8, 7 and 5 means S minus A is 8 then we have S minus B is 7, S minus C is 5. Now we add up all this, we get S plus S, 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 3S minus, we'll take here A plus B plus C. 8 plus 7 plus 5 is 20. Now next, we, we know that S is A plus B plus C divided by 2. So 2 into S is A plus B plus C. So this is 3S minus, for A plus B plus C, I'm going to put this value, 2S. So I'm going to put 2S here, equal to 20. 2S minus, 3S minus 2S is S, S equal to 20. This is an interesting sum. So the semi-perimeter is 20. The perimeter of a rhombus is 20. So you have x, 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 all the four sides. So which means 4x equal to 20, your x will be 5. So now for this x, I will all go to put 5. I'll rub this x out and I'm going to put 5, 5, 5. So this rhombus has got sides 5. And one of its diagonals is 8. So here I have one diagonal. This is 8. And there will be another diagonal there which I don't know. The diagonals intersect say at this point O. Now the first diagonal AC was 8. AC was 8. That means this is 4 and this is 4. AO 
will be equal to OC equal to 4. That is a property of the rhombus. The other diagonal we do not know. So I will put this as X. Now here is a 90 degrees. There's a property. Again, this is 90. So I can use in this triangle, I can use Pythagoras theorem. So if I use Pythagoras theorem in that triangle, so I have DC square, which is a hypotenuse, equal to DO square plus CO square. So your DC is 5 square, DO is X square, CO is 4 square. So 25 equal to X square plus 16. 25 minus 16 equal to x square, 9 equal to x square, 3 equal to x. Now remember your x was do, so do is 3 or od is 3. So the full db, the full diagonal will be 2 into 3 and that would be 6. So now in this rhombus here we have two diagonals one is this orange one and then which is say D1 and we have the other one D2 this or uh, this orange one is uh, we have already seen is 8 and the other one which we have found out now it was 3 and 3 which is 6 now an area of rhombus is half D1 into D2 which is half 6 into 8 and the answer is 24 centimeter square. Area of the given triangle. First we'll use Pythagoras theorem. So we know hypotenuse is AC. So AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. AC is 13 square, AB is 12 square plus BC square. So 13 square is 169, 12 square is 144 plus BC square. So 169 minus 144 equal to BC square, 25 equal to BC square. So BC equal to under root of 25 which is 5 equal to BC. That means this is 5. BC is 5. Now the area of this triangle will be half base into height. This will be the base and here will be the height. So we will write area half base into height. So half your base is here BC and the height is AB. So it is half 5 into 12 that is 5 into 6 and 30 centimeter square. The area and the length of one diagonal is 210 respectively. So area of rhombus is 200 centimeter square and the diagonal say D1 is 10 centimeter. Find the length of the other diagonal. Now area of rhombus is half D1 into D2. Area of rhombus is 200. Half D1 is 10. D2 we do not know. So we have 200. The 2 will be here. We get 10 here. And this is D2. So on cancelling we get 40. 40 will be D2. So the other diagonal is 40 centimeters. The area of one triangular part of the rhombus is 125. Find the area of the rhombus. So here if I can divide with the diagonal I get four parts. They said one part is 125 and all the parts will be equal. This is 125. So this also will be 125 area. This also 125. 125. So the total area will be 4 times 125 and that is 500 centimeter square. Each side of an equilateral triangle measures 10 then the area will be 
So, side equal to 10 centimeters. So, area formula of equilateral triangle, only equilateral triangle, root 3 by 4 side square. That is root 3 by 4, your side is 10 square. So, that is root 3 by 4 into 100. Now, root 3 is given as 1.73. So, 1.73 over 4 into 100. And that will be 173 over 4. The decimal will move two times here because you need to multiply by 100. So, the decimal will come here. Again, I repeat this. 1.73 into 100. The decimal will shift 1, 2. So, it would be 173. And the answer would be 43.25 centimeter square. The diagonals of a rhombus are 24 and 10. Find its perimeter. So here, if this diagonal is 24, say D1 is, or we'll put it as, we'll name that uh, rhombus as A, B, C, D. Now one diagonal that is AC equal to D1 which will say 24 and the other diagonal which is DB DB is D2 and that is 10 centimeter the centimeter so we need to find its perimeter so if AC is uh, 24 then the half of AC is 12 so this part will be 12 if DB is 10 Half of 10 is 5, so this is going to be 5. I'll put here O. So I got a triangle here. This is my here, this is my right angle triangle with 90 degrees here. And DC is a hypotenuse. So I'll write what DC square equal to DO square plus OC square. DC square. I don't know DC. DO is 5, so 5 square. OC is 12, so 12 square. So DC square is 25 plus 144. DC square 169. So DC is under root of 169. So DC is 13. Because 169 is 13 into 13. So it will be 13. So the perimeter of this triangle, of this rhombus would be, this is 13, this also will be 13, this will be 13 and 13. All the sides are equal. So perimeter equal to 4 into 13, which is 52 centimeter. Another formula you need to remember is area of parallelogram is base into height. Area of triangle is half base into height and area of rhombus half D1 into D2. Area of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 side square.